going into the Natural History Museum. Come on, let's go. I'm going to kind of go around the room. They have an upstairs and a downstairs. And <laughs> describing different bones of different animals and how their likenesses are with other animals. Which is kind of neat. And if you can tell, the kids are all excited. So it's interesting to see some of the animals and how they've changed some a lot some not so much this is the center of the National History Museum here in LA but I think our Alamogordo New Mexico dinosaur museum is much better much better laid out and more informative and this is natural jade and it's from Wyoming it's a beautiful slab Ooh. <laughs> argonite so what is this what is that one Tom Celestine quartz Oh, I like this one. As you're right. That's pretty. I don't think the pictures do it good. It's beautiful. We're going to go inside and look at some more. It's hard to see in here, so sorry. The lighting is really bad. Hard to see the stones. So I guess I'll give up on that because the whole room is darkened out and just the displays are lit up so it's hard to see really. Sorry about that guys. Well that's just another one. The, the, uh, if all the rest of the museums like this I won't be getting you very many pictures because this was our first stop on our tour of the museum. But so far the Roswell no, no, it isn't in Roswell, it's in Socorro. Socorro, New Mexico's Rock Museum is way better than this and lit up so you can see every color and the beauty of it and how brilliant they shine. Here, it, not so much. I mean, the way they've got it dark and then backlit, it's hard to see it. You might try the Socorro Rock Museum if you ever get a chance. Did you know that Lucifer was described in the Bible as being made with some of these stones? I'll find the scripture to it and post it at the bottom of the screen. But it's amazing to think that he was that gorgeous as to be some of these stones. Have them in his chest plate on him. This was free today to get inside here but you had to pay to see the King Tut Museum and the uh, IMAX theater and we weren't interested in that. Didn't know it was here. Wasn't planning on any of this so it was kind of an extra goodie for us. And it was nice. The whole lower level was nothing but understanding fear and how it works in the brain. And now we're going to head upstairs to another section of science information. Second level is how things move, how they make different things go forward from flying. machinery, the mechanics of an engine, how a motor works, how an engine works. Very interesting. They're showing you the inside of an engine and how the camshaft turns the crank there. You can see the gears going and then all of a sudden there's the fan in the front going around. 
Pretty cool. I love it. Beautiful. The F-20 and the U.S. Air Force jet. That is a, a jet, right? The white one? Both of them are jets. Yeah. Both of them are jets, but... Oh, that one's a, I think, called a Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark and is I the think, gray wave. Let me see. I think it was an F-18. An F-18. Let's go over here and look. You don't want to get sucked into that puppy. Sorry, F-20 Tiger Shark. F-20 Tiger Shark. T-38 Talon. T-38 Talon. Wow. That oh, wow. I like. No more wows, just oohs and ahs. Wow, okay, so we can't say that anymore. A T-38 jet and an F-20 Tiger Shark. Look at the beautiful roses. I love that building right there. This architecture is gorgeous. And the fountains. Pretty fish. If you can smell the roses, oh, it's just an aroma of its own. It makes you just want to take a deep breath in. Look at how beautiful the garden is. I wish I had a drone. I'd pick you up high so you could see it from above. But there's like little pathways all along to walk through and smell each rose. Oh, the fragrance is awesome. Backside of the Los Angeles Historical and Art Museum. I love the architecture on this. And look at that majestic eagle with our awesome flag flying high. This is my land. proud of my country. This is the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. We just stumbled onto this. It was built in 1923. And it held the Olympics in 1932 and, and a couple of other times. I didn't have that information on me. I'll put it at the bottom. This is just kind of neat because we stumbled on this by accident trying to, to go to the one museum. We got three different things to see. And it's, it's just neat to know the LA Rams played here for a while, the Olympics were here, and now they're remodeling it to, for another event. I don't know what, but I didn't ask. But, how neat is that to be here at such a neat time? Thanks for watching my video. We had a great day at the museum. We didn't find out till later, later that we were in Exposition Park, which to the locals is known as Expo Center. We got to see a lot more than we had planned on. And we hope you enjoyed some of the things we got to see. If you did, hit the like button. Give us a comment. Subscribe. And touch the little bell if you want to see another video. And just remember with Christie's RV Life, wherever you go, there you are. God bless.